Member for West Vancouver to see to Sky. Mr. Speaker, it will come as no surprise to British Columbians that most of BC is bear country. Of the 150,000 bears that live in British Columbia, about 10% of them are grizzly bears. Some of us are fortunate to live amongst these majestic creatures without having, needing to pay for a guide because these bears are in the backyard. Certainly in the Sea to Sky, we regularly see trail and campground closures. Last fall, a grizzly was hanging around the ball field of Myrtle Phillips Community School in Whistler and farms up and down the Pemberton Valley. My mom, in fact, heard a howling outside her house in the middle of the night last fall, wisely choosing not to investigate, but later discovered that a grizzly had killed a black bear, partially eaten it, and then stashed it in the ditch beside the house for snacking on later. While awe-inspiring, it is nerve-wracking. A family in the upper Pemberton Meadows no longer lets their kids walk the driveway to catch the school bus because a sow in the neighborhood over the last three years has had several very successful litters and bears are in and around the farm almost every day. Families and communities are increasingly being confronted with the challenges of living with these apex predators. In the Blackfoot Valley, uh, River Valley of Montana, as grizzly bears have repopulated the valley and conflicts with people and livestock have increased, the Blackfoot Challenge was created with an emphasis on education and deterrence. One of the most effective deterrents is the use of fencing. And in the past, while lethal techniques may have been common, today electric fencing is a humane, non-lethal and effective method of bear management. But it does cost significant money. When fencing bears out of attractants like corn or carrots, livestock or children, these projects are driven by a social imperative, yet those financial burdens rest on the shoulders of farmers and ranchers. The Blackfoot Challenge has been involved in well over 600 fence installations and works with ranchers to educate and inform and monitor and maintain electric fences so that they are effective and, importantly, of little cost to ranchers. Replicating this type of program in British Columbia is essential to fairness and equity because while we all value grizzlies, society has more broadly a responsibility to contribute to management solutions on the ground.